<laughs> and that's right, folks. Today on Yen's Nerds Cooking with Pot, we're doing a tortellini crock pot recipe that my mom was so kind as to find for me. So let's get some pazanio on. Today we're going to make a tortellini dish in a handy dandy crock pot like this. Um, if you guys don't have your own crock pot yet, feel free to go to your nearest thrift shop because odds are you'll find it in their electronics section wishing it had a home. Today what we're going to need is frozen tortellinis, um, some chicken because I'm adding meat to this recipe. Um, uh, for ease, I picked up some grill, pre-cooked grilled chicken packs. Uh, you can actually go ahead and get some chicken breast or thighs or whatever kind of meat you prefer chicken wise chop it up a little bit and cook it on your skillet but for time and ease we're using pre-done we're going to need a bag of fresh spinach some cream cheese I didn't even know this existed Italian diced tomatoes not just regular diced tomatoes Italian and the stallion and some vegetable broth but since I'm adding meat I went with uh, chicken. So let's get cooking, good looking. Now, it doesn't specify what order to put everything in. It just says to put everything in. I want to go with my liquids first. It's personal preference. So blah, 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 blah. Some nasty or inappropriate. Alright, folks, get your chicken bag open. Ah, beautiful. So beautiful. Hey, guys, so currently you have your broth, your tomatoes, your cream cheese, and your chicken in there because I'm adding chicken. Now, if you want to add a meat, you can add whatever meat you like to this. Um, we're going to put some spinach in. Again, showing off those awesome guns for whoever you might be trying to impress while cooking. Grab a couple handfuls of the spinach stuff. So that's going to cook down, but we do want a good amount of veggies in our food. Because, you know, healthiness and stuff. Um, I got a fairly big bag, so the rest of this is going to be salads. Well, parts, parts of a salad. Because, you know, I'm strong to the finish. Because I eat me spinach. I'm Emmy the, the weird, weird kid. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to finish that off by putting in our frozen, in this case, cheese raviolis. But um, if you're putting a meat ugh, into your uh, crock pot, you can do beef and get the beef and pork raviolis. Um, I mean, tortellinis. Anyhow, you can get meat tortellini. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're putting these cheesy ones in. And then we're going to stir this whole thing. I found this recipe to be quite a stirring read. Ugh. Rescue any parts of your meal that try to escape from the crock pot. Folks, so you've stirred, stirred, stirred it up. Stir, 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 stirred it up. Now you're going to set your crock pot too low. Put the lid on it because really people, you need to put a lid on it. The crock pot. Though if you got a can of crazy that popped open, you might want to put a lid on that too. Um, according to the recipe, this bad boy sits just like this on low for five to six hours at which time you can go hang out with your friends see a movie write a great screenplay read the you know world's best-selling book right now or listen to a sizable chunk of it on audio or watch all my videos with plenty of time to spare um, I will see you guys in that five to six hours for the final result which should be delicious. Now that it's been about four to five hours since you put everything in that crock pot for your tortellinis, what you do is you put in a tasty bowl or plate, 
like so. And you can just eat it fresh. We're going to try it out here. Mm. It's great. The noodles are nice and tender and soft. And your chicken, which was already pre-cooked, so you know this is safe. Mm. Da -da -na -na -na. Mm. Ba -da -da -da. So, I love you guys. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I will try and put the recipe description down below in the video description. Um, as one of my loving friends and subscribers did tell me that that's probably a good idea for you guys to have the recipes of what I'm making. So, a little shout out to Diane. Thank you. Um, if you guys have any constructive criticism or know of a recipe you'd like me to try, feel free to message me on Ian Said Nerd on Facebook, Twitter, um, I don't really use my Tumblr. Also, feel free to make this and post pictures of you enjoying your delicious dish with the hashtag cooking with pot so I can see your lovely creations too. I love you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and always share, because it's care. I love you guys, I'll see you later, and I am out.